This week it's all about the historic 500th episode of Ring of Honor Television. Hello and welcome once again to Technique Tuesdays. I'm the prestigious one, Joe Hendry, and this is the show where we break down all the techniques that you see on Ring of Honor television. This week is all about the 500th episode. Ring of Honor is making history this week, and what better way to celebrate it with two huge matchups with some of our biggest stars. We're talking about Jay Lethal versus Jonathan Gresham for the Pure Championship, and Briscoe versus Briscoe. First up, let's take a look at that pure championship match. And a series of wrist locks here. Gresham flips out of it, rolls out of it, and pushes out. This one is all about respect. Jay Lethal says, Jonathan Gresham, every time I'm in the ring with you, it is a learning experience. But Gresham, on the other hand, says, Lethal, you are the best wrestler in the world. But tonight, they are competing for what they believe is the most prestigious prize in professional wrestling, the Pure Championship. Let's go to Jay Lethal implementing the toe and ankle hold that we were talking about last week. So effective because of the torque that you can get on that ankle. But Gresham is the pure champion for a reason. He has an answer for everything. Watch this. He goes to counter into an arm bar. Before Gresham has a chance to fully execute this move, what Lethal does is put his weight onto Gresham, forcing the pin, leaving Gresham with the choice. Is he going to hold on and risk it? or release the hold. It's the latter in this case, and a stalemate ensues. So do not worry, you will see that match. Rolls him up, rolls him through. Single leg ankle pick there. Off the ropes, misses yes, yep. the arm. But when we talk about the talent of Jonathan Gresham, we equally have to talk about the experience that Jay Lethal has, specifically the championship experience. And you're about to see it on full display here. Watch this. There's Gresham, off the ropes, trap down, Lethal. Gresham, Hurricane Rana blocked by Jay Lethal. Yeah. Lethal has him in a Styles class position, he's turns going, it into the Boston yeah, Crab. Lethal is going for the hold here because they're close to the ropes. Usually, you would want to be as far away from the ropes as possible, but as Caprice Coleman correctly points out, Lethal is doing the hold here because it is going to force Gresham to give up another of his rope breaks. That is rope break number two for Jonathan Gresham. Very smart. Now, as much as these two elite athletes are friends, they're in a faction together, pure rules doesn't necessarily mean a walk in the park because watch this. Lethal goes with the arm whip. Got to hold the wrist. Wrist lock Whoa. driving Jonathan Gresham down. And it's an absolutely grotesque landing right on the shoulder. But as evenly matched as these two elite competitors are, there can only be one. And let's take a look at this exchange. Gresham. Oh, and then, yeah. Ooh. I don't think you hit it with that bad arm. And here we go. Lamai Shaw Cradle. 15 minutes he lost. Close to the ropes. 45 and minutes. Lethal. In. And that time he does lock in the face lock. No, 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 no. And look at Lethal. No. Brings a lethal here. He's trying to block it. Gresham's in trouble. We can have a new pure champion right here. He's keeping Gresham from grabbing the rope. And he is, he is a good foot now. Wow. He had one shot to pendulum himself to the ropes and he gets there. That is the third and final rope break for Jonathan Gresham. Lethal has control, but then Gresham counters by going to the ground and he's looking for that head scissors maneuver. The perfect hold to take your opponent off balance when they have the dominant position. Sends him down to the mat, caught with the head scissors, shot of the Gresham. Lethal tries to push out. Nice. Oh, he caught nice. Lethal. He caught nice. Lethal with a head scissor pick yes. combination. Watch this. As Jay Lethal is about to nip up out of the hold, Jonathan Gresham claims the leg and he goes for the pin. Now, why is this pin so effective? There's only one situation when the arms can be stronger than the legs, and that is when the legs come towards the head and they go past a 90 degree angle. When you go between 45 and 90 degrees between the head and the legs, it puts the legs in a position where the quads cannot fully extend and explode out the hold. Gresham knows this, he takes advantage of this, and he gets the pin and retains the title. Phenomenal matchup and the perfect way to kick off our 500th episode. Next up, it's Briscoe versus Briscoe. Two individuals that have seen the growth of Ring of Honor to become what it is today, who have seen the 500 episodes that have brought us to this point. Is there a more 
appropriate main event for the 500th episode? I don't think so. It's Jay versus Mark, and this is going to be exactly what Ring of Honor is all about. But nobody in this company knows Jay Briscoe as well as Mark Briscoe, who's proven that he can beat him if given the right circumstances. Now going into this matchup, we have to think, Big Brother often holds a little bit of the authority here, but the Briscoes are competitive. Jay has won a Ring of Honor World Championship and Mark is yet to add that to his resume. So you have to think that Mark is out to prove a point tonight and this match could have huge implications for the title. Wow! <laughs> Frankensteiner! Gets the kick out of the way, back fist, back chop, misses. You think these two know each other a little bit? <laughs> but first up, let's talk about the strategy of Mark Briscoe. We know he loves a lot of those high risk maneuvers, but in this case, he's very smart with how he delivers this kick. Watch this. Like what happens when that kicks in? Right, spicy drop kick. He goes for the missile drop kick through the ropes, but what he does is actually use his arms to hold onto the ropes, meaning that once he's delivered the kick to Jay, he can land himself perfectly where he wants to with no damage at all. Very smart from Mark Briscoe. It's bang, bang. Oh. Cactus elbow! Absolutely brutal. Now fans, I bet when you watch pro wrestling you think, well, if people are friends, if people are brothers, people are relatives, surely they go a bit easier on each other. No, 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 no. You are dead wrong. It is in fact the complete opposite. And you're about to see that when the Briscoes start beating the living hell out of each other on the outside the of the ring. Ball. Yep, businessman. And the one constant that's remained is they've been with the three letters ROH. Oh, Ooh. since day one. Day one from boys to men. Very yeah. successful men. Oh, from wow! No to New Japan to CMLL and now up and over the barricade. This running boot hits Mark so hard in the face that it causes him to do a backflip over the barricade. With friends, even brothers like this, who needs enemies? And it's Jay Briscoe to the top two time former world champion. When Jay said, get up, chicken, he was talking junk, oh. but you hear that brother's call, it wakes you up. And a oh. class plants him, hooks the leg, two. Just a two count there. Now, this originates from what we would call the shoulder throw, which is when you throw your opponent over one of your shoulders. But what Mark does in perfect timing, I might add, is land in the falcon arrow position as well. Does technique get any better than this? I don't think so. Say, give them the people what they want. Don't use the chair, Mark. I ain't gonna use it as a weapon. Oh, he's saying, he's saying he's not gonna use the... But as we saw earlier, Mark can quickly advance from perfect technique to absolute violence in a matter of seconds. Briscoe goes for the chair, and we know he loves to use that chair to elevate his high risk maneuvers. But guess what? If you've been tagging with someone for years, for decades, they're going to know what your strategy is. And that's exactly what happens here. I don't know if he'd be able to do it with, with Jay in mind. Yeah, yeah, Jay knew that he likes to use that as a step. Oh, oh God! Oh my God! McCauley driver on the chair! Mark goes to hit the ropes, but Jay slides into the ring picks him up with perfect timing for the Spicoli driver right onto the chair. Now earlier Mark asked Todd, look, are you going to disqualify me? You can't. I'm technically not using it as a weapon. And that has come back to bite him because Jay is using that exact rule against him. Says so Arnold Schwarzenegger says, bend the rules a little bit. And that's exactly what Jay Briscoe has done by driving his brother with the Spicoli driver right into that chair. Todd can't disqualify him because it is not the direct use of a weapon. Very smart from Jay Briscoe. He's going for another one. Jay Driller! Wow. Does he have enough to capitalize? Oh, Mark! Mark smart. Mark! Good. Rolling out of the ring! In the end though, high risk does equal high reward for Mark Briscoe. He takes the risk and he goes for that huge frog splash elbow through the table. Ooh, the chop again. Oh, Jay's, Jay is in a bad way. You don't have to do this! You already know who this guy is. This is your brother! Oh! Drives the elbow through the chest, the heart of his own brother! Frog splash elbow through the table and just manages to get back in the ring in time, meaning that he technically wins the matchup. He has won the battle against his brother, a former 
Ring of Honor World Champion. And this has to have huge ramifications if Mark wants to go on and challenge for the Ring of Honor World Championship. What an unbelievable match. What an unbelievable show. What better way to showcase the talent and the history of Ring of Honor than by having these two matches on our five hundredth episode that's how you do it code of honor at here too and what a night 500 episodes this is a huge landmark achievement in professional wrestling and it just wouldn't be possible without our management our crew our roster our staff but most importantly our ring of honor fans thank you so much for supporting this company we as a company will always always do everything that we can do to deliver the very best professional wrestling on the planet thank you for being with us for 500 episodes and here's to the next 500 thank you for watching and we shall see you next time